Yo, what's up? Mother humping you, mother friggin' humping tube. Uh, you know, sometimes I have a problem displaying my guns, and I figured out a way to do it without it making, making it look like a total disaster. You see that? That is a low profile vice. A lot of people use that for, um, in the machine shops, for drill presses and milling machines. And what, what they do is they bolt the slotted parts down on the milling machine or the drill press and they hold their object in the vise and then they work on their fucking object so I used to work in a machine shop and I've always had that uh, you can get these at Harbor Freight very cheap you don't have to buy a good one and uh, this is fantastic for displaying your weapon or your firearm if you want to show something and you don't have nobody to help you like me I never have a cameraman because I'm always by myself because I'm a loser anyway uh, I want to show you how it works. It works really well. If you have a Harbor Freight near you, they sell they sell these. Uh, you can go online to Harbor Freight and order these. Uh, I think you can get one for under twenty dollars. Okay, they're they're really not expensive, and they have a nice flat wide base on them so they won't tip over. And what I did was I cut a section of this spongy blue shit, and I a crazy glued one on each side. You know what I'm saying? To protect whatever uh, rifle or pistol I put in there. So I won't put pistols in there, probably display my rifle. The reason why I'm showing you this is because I got something new for my Yugo and it's, I'm so thrilled with it, uh, I need to show it. Now, I hear a lot of people say, um, I don't agree with this. I heard someone say, uh, you shouldn't make videos on things that are too simple or it's it's kind of stupid to make videos on changing grips and no it's not no it's not there's people out there that are so new to firearms they don't even you know I mean I mean they don't even know how to fucking cock the hammer I mean these people need to be educated right they need to be they need to learn the basic fundamentals okay let me tell you something real clear here do you know how many friends of mine that are experienced gun owners snap the heads off their grips or strip the bushing in their 1911 because they put the grip screw in crooked or they just the bushing wasn't threaded right or believe me there's no such thing as a silly video okay no such thing okay I mean I'm not going to video my bathroom doorknob but uh, if it has to do with guns and it's and there's and I'm coming up with some kind of solution to a problem I'm having. I am going to share it with you guys and let you guys in on it. So, plus it's more material for us to hang out. I've said that before. All right, let me show you my Yugo. I'm going to put it in this vice. I want to show you what I got for it. It's pretty nice. Hold on. All right. Here's my Yugo M70 AB2. It has been safety checked. It's been cleared. There's no ammunition in the gun. Uh, look how good that looks, man. The vise holds it, and it will not tip over. If you don't like the way the, the vise looks in the video, like if you're one of those real picky video dudes, if you want your videos to look awesome, what you could do is you could throw a shirt over the vise, the same color as your table, or a piece of material, the same color as your table, tuck it in the vise, you know what I mean, and then just use it like that, but look how good it looks, and look how good it works, uh, that's what I'm using, works awesome, um, yeah, check this out, look at that, look at that vertical foregrip on that bad boy, I got that from, uh, Cheaper Than Dirt, and man, I gotta say it, once again, it came very fast, they say seven days, but I'm telling you, get it in three, it's just, it's great, um, that is a UTG vertical pistol grip for the foregrip, vertical foregrip. And what I like about that is, what I love about that is, it's it's metal, okay? It's metal, and it just if I if I don't have to buy plastic, I'm not going to buy plastic. If I can find steel uh, quad rails, well, of course quad rails are aluminum or or light metal. I'm just saying, if I could buy, if I can find a steel anything, it's going on the gun. 
you know, with the extent, with the exception, the, ex the exception of the of the grip, of course. Um, I like steel on my guns as much as possible. So I seen this in, in uh, Cheaper Than Dirt magazine, a uh, low profile steel uh, vertical pistol grip, vertical foregrip. Damn, I'm fucking, I'm an asshole today. <sighs> anyway. Uh, you guys know how finicky I am and fussy I am. This thing, I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. Pete, what's the model number? I don't know. Do you think I have the correct information? Do you think I'd be prepared? Of course not. Oh, man. Let me see if I can get a close-up on it. Uh, it has... Uh, the checkering is really beautiful on it. I know, I know it's just a vertical foregrip, guys, but... I'm just so thrilled with it. I can't believe how nice it is. Let me see if this this camera will zoom up for you and stay in focus, because I don't have it on the. Let me switch it over to the uh, the, the macro setting. Hold on. Okay, here's a closer view of it. Um, what I love is it has this big butterfly nut on this side. You can really crank it tight with a lot of leverage. Uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, even the label, the UTG label on the front is acid etched on there. Let's get a little closer. Look at that. Look at that. It's got beautiful fine checkering on it. Like I said, it's all steel. The bottom part unscrews and has a nice compartment in there. And it's waterproof. It has a rubber O-ring on there. Okay. How nice is this? See how it mounts on there? real simple and everything's metal even the mounting bars and the nut everything it's all metal so it's pretty hefty and I'm gonna tell you the amazing thing about it the amazing thing about it is let's get back here the amazing thing about it is how much is it how much is it you think uh, 60 bucks nope 40 bucks Nope. 30 bucks? Nope. How about 19.95? I sound like a fucking TV commercial. I know. But I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe something of this quality and how nice that is. That that thing is only $20. So I got it. I grabbed it. I loved it. I think it makes... Uh, it goes with the Yugo. The, like, like the style of the furniture of the Yugo and all. Whoops. And uh, it really looks, really looks nice. I'm real happy with it. And uh, I don't know how it would look on the AR. I just, I, don't, I can't visualize it. But, uh, let's see. Here. I don't know. I don't know if it'll look appropriate on an AR-15. I have to think about it for a while. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But for this particular setup right here, this Yugo, look how nice that pistol grip looks, man. All right. Just wanted to show that with you, share that with you, show it to you. Okay. Uh, today is Monday. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ship out about probably like 50 shirts. Like I said, I can't ship them all at once. The post office guy will shoot me. Okay. So I'm right now. Anyone that ordered more than one shirt, I want to get them out of here because they're taking up a lot of room. They're like boxes. You know what I mean? Because when you order more shirts, they're not little envelope. There there's some of them are envelopes, but a lot of them are big chunky boxes. So any, anyone that ordered more than one shirt, there's there's shirts going out today. Tomorrow, more shirts, all the single shirts. If you ordered just one shirt, all them shirts are going to start going out tomorrow. I'll probably have them all in the mail on their way to you, all of them, I would say by Thursday. So figure, depending where you live in the United States, guys, remember, this is coming. Uh, well, if you ordered more than one shirt, you're going to get it pretty fast because it's coming priority mail because they have them flat rate boxes. So priority mail moves a little faster. But if you ordered one shirt, that's going to be in a brown envelope. And that's going to take a little longer. So if you live in like from the middle of the United States out towards California, from the middle of the United States out towards California, like from Nebraska out or something, dude, you got please wait. It, it could take a couple weeks. There's so many times where people said to me, oh, my shirt never came, and called me two days later, oh, I got it, Pete. So just just give it some time, okay? 
like I said, no one ever not got their shirt. So it, it works pretty good this way. All right. Uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Actually, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. I know, I know. Why do you let your dogs on your couch? I don't know, man. I, I just don't see the big deal. I mean, I hate it. I hate the hair. The hair gets all over the place. But I don't know. I'm a softie, man. I can't help it. They just look at me and they hate laying on this cold wooden floor. And uh, I always I always say I'm not letting the dogs on the couch anymore. I'm not letting them on the couch anymore. But I always, because they're such good dogs. If they were bad dogs, they were like asshole dogs and they didn't listen or they always tried to run away and try to get away and they were bad dogs, I probably wouldn't bother me as much. But they're such great dogs, these pit bulls. They're such great dogs. I'm telling you if, if you, if you never owned a pit bull and you're thinking about getting a dog, go get a pit bull puppy and save the fucking dog. Save the dog from some ass wipe wants to bring it up tough and fight it, okay? They're loyal. They're extremely smart. I mean, I've had dogs. I'm 40. I'm going to be 43. I've had dogs for as long as I can remember. I've had collies and boxers. Bulldogs, uh, in fucking poodle. That wasn't mine. Uh, but we had one, okay? And I'm telling you, out of all the dogs I've had, and I'm not saying one breed is smarter than the other, but I think that for, for some reason, pit bulls are just more, uh, they just love you. I can't, I, that's all I can explain. And it gets on your nerves. Believe me, they jump up on you. They want to stick their head in your, in your, uh, on your neck and, they won't leave you the fuck alone, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. This is Lucy. You sleeping, girl? You sleeping? Lucy, you look like you're on drugs, man. I mean, you look like... You alright? Yeah. This is Lucy. She's the younger one. She's a little lighter color. And, uh, I don't think she's 100%. I mean, if you look at her face, she is... I mean, she has a typical pit bull look, but if you look at uh, Humans for Targets, Paul, Humans for Targets 2, that's a great gun channel. He's got some beautiful, muscular pit bulls. These are little girls. So these these are these guys are only like, they're only like 50 pounds a piece. They're little, but they're really good dogs. Right, Luce? Watch. All I have to do is say the magic word, and her ears will, will perk up. Chewy? Choo-choo? You want a choo choo? You want a choo choo, don't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't get it for you right now. I'll get you one later. This one's Gia. Gia, Gia's moody. She's a full bred, but she's not a big one. But she's 100%. And uh, she was the runt. And you know, even the runts look good because we have a small house. I didn't want a big giant dog. You know what I mean? So I got two medium-sized dogs. And Gia, the only the magic word would be car ride ride go for a ride see that is the magic word for Gia alright girl not right now I just want to she uh, she's moody she'll, she'll she'll kill you I mean if she don't know you not because she's a pit bull because she's mature she's like the wise one she guards the house and if she don't know you and you try to come in this house she will go ape shit Alright, I haven't showed my dogs for a while, so I wanted to show you them real quick. Yeah, that's right. You just need a doggy bed. Alright, here's here's what I'm talking about, the shirts. See, these are ready to go out the door. See them? These are everyone that ordered more than one. All them white priority envelopes, that's what they look at. They're going out today. Every one of these are going out right now, as soon as I shut this camera off. Okay, now the other ones are just going to be in a big brown envelope. All right, they're the single ones, and they're gonna go regular mail because that's the way it has to be. Because of you know, if you do your shipping smart, if you're if you're you know if you're doing shirts on YouTube, uh, if you get multiple orders, use the flat rate box. It might save you it might save you a buck or two, but it adds up when there's a hundred of them, right? All right, so wanted to show you that, show you the dogs, and. Uh, We'll be coming back real soon with a new video, that's for sure. I'm still waiting on my Rock Island Army to show up. 
just ordered a pair of uh, rubber grips from Pierce Grips. They came last week. I forgot to show them, but I'm not showing them. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.